I'm Emma Sroda, and we're at the Radio Drive Fire Station talking to Emergency Services Commander Mike Richardson. Hi, Mike. Welcome. Thanks for being here today. So I understand your family has a lot of history with the Radio Drive Fire Station. Can you tell me about that? Sure. My, um, my mom and dad were both involved in organizing the Woodbury Fire Department back in 1961. There was a group of citizens who got together to look at forming a fire department in 59 and the fire department was actually put together and signed into incorporation in 1961 and both my mom and my dad are on the documents of incorporation. My dad is a founding father and my mom is a witness. That's amazing. How many firefighters were a part of that at the time? When they first put the fire department together in, in 61 they had about 25 residents who signed up to be members of the fire department. You know, 61 was the year that the fire department was formed, but they didn't actually have a fire station until 1963. So in the early days, they had gone out and purchased a fire truck and it moved around between some of the more key players of the fire department's homes and restored their residents for about a year and a half. And then in 63, they built the Afton Road Fire Station. So the Afton Road Fire Station was the first one. Can you tell me about the history of how we've gotten to four fire stations now here in Woodbury? As time kind of uh, uh, transitioned, you know, the radio drive station was the number two station that was built. At that time, the developments were starting to come out this way on the city. So the city was starting to grow towards the east. Uh, that would have been 1975. So in 1978, the Thames Road Fire Station was added to the city. And then in 2001, uh, we added the Fox Run Fire Station and rebuilt the Afton Road Station with a new building. In addition to my dad being a founding father of the fire department and, and serving 21 plus years, two of my brothers were also on the fire department for 21 plus years. So collectively between me and my brothers and my dad, We've got over 100 years of service in with the city. Sounds like an incredible family history and tradition. Well, thank you. Can you tell me more about what it's like being the emergency services commander? My job today in, entails uh, looking at emergency preparedness, health and safety, and then I still respond as a fire chief officer in the fire department. So the emergency preparedness piece and, and the health and safety piece kind of come hand in hand together. It's about looking at systems that we've deployed across the city and uh, the safety of our staff. So it, it's really a, a regular ongoing process that we go through to test systems to make sure that they're working the way that we want them to work. And then when uh, a major event or something like that happens, we're ready to respond to it. 43 years is a long time. Can you tell me about some of the changes that you've seen over those years? You know, when I first started in the fire department, we were operating out of one fire station. Over the years, the color of apparatus has changed twice now. So we went from red originally to lime green color for a number of years and now back to red. As times have changed, what they've done for the apparatus is of the, the graphics that are on them are more reflective today. Are there any moments or memories that really stick out in your memory from the last 43 years? Back in the 80s, we had a, a liquid oxygen tanker that rolled, out on, rolled over out on Highway 94 and severed the tank, side of the tank, so we had liquid oxygen laying in the ditch. Back then, we didn't really have hazardous materials program across the state of Minnesota, so we responded out and ended up shutting down the freeway for about 12 hours while we worked through trying to figure out what we needed to do to manage that event. And how did you manage that event? Well, it's liquid oxygen, so we had snow in the ditch, so the, the liquid oxygen had come in and laid underneath of the ditch, and it was just kind of waiting for the, the liquid oxygen to evaporate over the course of the next 12 hours. That sounds scary. Scary, yes, but that's what we do. I mean, you know, we go in and out of hazardous situations on a pretty regular basis today around here, so. Are there any other proud moments you'd like to share? Well, I'm proud of both my kids. Um, my kids are both firefighters. Um, my son Matthew is a firefighter in the city of Stillwater, and my daughter is a firefighter paramedic um, for the city of Cottage Grove. And then my daughter-in-law is one of her police officers here in Woodbury. So your family tradition is getting even longer. It's even getting longer, yes. That's awesome. So. I heard that you have your own day. It was a proclamation by the mayor. Can you tell me which date that is? So my last day of work is, is uh, December 31st. So the proclamation identifies Mike Richardson Day as December 31st of this year.
So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for meeting with us today and congratulations on your retirement. I hope you have some big plans and um, some things for the next chapter of your life. Thanks, Emma. That's it for this edition of Around Town with Emma. We'll see you next time.